In the last video, Pathfinders thought he fell into a rabbit hole or maybe stepped in something. Richard Cranium wouldn't let me know if he was impressed with my TV mount or not. Uh, Joe49 was fair. He was saying setting fire to brake cleaner is a no-no. Oh, okay. LX Cam was like, light it up. And, oh, this uh, BC's again. He um, said the YouTube forced him to watch a Redneck Innovation video. These two guys thought I was sniffing brake cleaner, so one of them shared a warning label. That's I can't even cut it off the any tags because it's built into my computer screen. Bronson, he said something about mustard gas. Look at all those posts since 2011, Bronson. Good job. Life's lamp. Her mom and dad brought this to her. It's as old as her, or older. She's not very old. I have a young wife. It's having problems. It's a three-way switch, and the um, she doesn't like that red glow. I like I like it a lot. I think the red looks really good, but she says the red has to go. She wants white. There's some variation of white. This still has one original harp coupler over there. And this harp coupler is a, a valve stem cover that someone cut the top off of. That was, that's brilliant. So I'm gonna leave it like that, no one will see it. This lamp has an awesome shade with it, but my wife says she doesn't like that shade. It's huge, that's a big harp, and the shade on it was, I don't know, two and a half feet tall. She wants to put a smaller harp and a smaller shade on it. Watch, this This thing's not, this part's broken. The red light turns on okay, but this, this, what, that's messed up. That's really jacked up. You can get it going, but it, you gotta play with it. Like most things, it's it's a fire hazard. That's 60 watts. That's gotta go. That's really... 60 watts, it's not in my house. That's gotta go. The bulbs I use in my entire home are 0.8 watts. So I don't even have one watt in every light in my home. I can turn on every bulb in my house and it doesn't even equal 100 watts. Let's try. I have a lot of bulbs in my home. No one ever turns the lights off. So that's why I chose 0.8 watt bulbs. I, I can't even get it to turn on. Whoop! There. Whoop. I'm, I'm in between clicks. That's bright enough. It's pretty bright. The living room has seven watts total. That's a lot of bulbs to, when each one's less than a watt. I, I like having a low electric bill. In, in my house, the bulbs really matter because there's so many sockets in the ceiling with canned lighting. So my house is my house is from 1975, and there's a lot of can lighting. Someday I'll show you my can lighting, and and I'll show you how I got my electric bill so low. That'll be a good video to watch. If you go to Home Depot and you buy a, a an LED bulb, most of them are 10 watts or higher. Um, 11 and 10 watts and 11 watts are about how small they get. One for this type of base. The largest wattage bulb in my entire house is the four watt oven light bulb. So the oven light consumes more energy than any lamp in my home. This is 0.8. The oven is four watts. We don't use the oven light often. I'm, I'm really proud of the oven light. I'll, um, I'll show you how I did, how I got my oven light to be four watts. You would want to do it too. There. This is 72 watts. What it's going on is I got the 60 watt light bulb is running plus the Christmas bulb is red that's running too. Combined that's 71 watts. My whole house is not much more than that. This Christmas bulb that's a lot. This is my 0.8 watt light bulb. There it is. The base will also have a 0.5 white light bulb. This whole lamp would run at 1.3 watts. It'll look good. And it'll be a white bulb in the base because my wife hates the red bulb. Always remember to unplug a lamp before you work on it. Now it's safe. Yeah, good old fashioned. You know, this could also be from the 70s.
or 80s. This might be the original bulb. I'm going to keep it. Okay, this bulb is temporary. This bulb is actually a 1.5 watt, but it only performs at a quarter watt. It's broken because I hit it with sledgehammer when I was destroying part of the kitchen. I'll get an, I'll put in a new bulb at half a watt. It'll be a lot brighter than this, but this one performs pretty bad. Quarter watt, not even that. We'll see. All done. So, oh, uh oh. Oops. So there's black wires and there's brown wires. None of them are damaged from heat. So I'm going to keep these wires. The black wires go down to the red bulb, but I'm not allowed to have a red bulb in her lamp. Here's here's a new one I got at the local hardware store. Not the big box store, like, you know. This place is really close, like um, six, seven miles. The innards look a lot alike. So I'm just going to wire it up just like it shows, hoping... That nothing's changed in the past 50, 40, or 50 years on these. My wife's not that old. My wife's really young. So I'm using my American Made Stanley screwdriver. Just the right size. These wire leads are tinned. That's nice. They won't fray. There's no screw on here. I'll just reuse this one. There's a chance I'm not supposed to put a wire on this. I'll touch it, make sure I don't get shocked. Or I'll probably get shocked. But I want to make sure that any company or visitors... Or my wife doesn't get shocked when they touch it. Now, that doesn't look... This definitely is... See how brassy this is? and This definitely has been replaced one other time. That's unacceptable. I guess no one got shocked. I guess it's acceptable. And then this one is on the opposite side. There we go. Okay, so these go in the rear. I know this is the older one because this it's, it's dusty. I'm going to... I'm gonna reuse this base because they just kind of snap on. This is gonna work. We can always double check right now. And what I can do, I can push these in all the way around. I can, I have a crimp that would do this evenly. Once I crimp it, it's in there good if I can get it out now. I may not have to crimp it at all. Oops. This wire is too long. It's, it was really jammed in there under pressure, but it never caught anyone's house on fire. It's probably okay. You ought to see some of the things when we were little. Things that were toys that are now considered like life-threatening, dangerous. You know, the toys we played with. Some kids would lose an eye. They were probably stupid. I mean that nicely. So the bottom line is, I mean, just because something didn't burn down someone's house doesn't mean that it's good enough. I'm going to make this safe enough that you can put it on the ledge of your bathtub if you need a light because you're bathing in it and it's dark. Whoops. Kind of like the TVs. I got some TVs to put right on the ledge of that tub. I wrap the wire clockwise so that when I tighten this down, the wires won't pop out. Don't, um, when I was young... I would over tighten things all the time. I broke all kinds of brand new stuff. When you're strong, my name is Macho Drone. I'm pretty strong. So you just kind of learn after breaking enough things. This is important. You, this insulates the electricity from everything else, from the wires. There. I'm going to crimp this. I couldn't find my crimper. This will work fine though. I just put it on, tighten it up. I don't really have to apply hardly any pressure. So I'm just wild guessing how, how tight to crimp that. See if it seems tighter than the first time. Yeah, that's definitely tighter. I can pick up the whole lamp better than I thought. I like them tight. Wow, that's the exact same problem it had with the old one. There's a mystery to solve here. I gotta be in between clicks. Not just any click, it always has to be that. I don't like that at all. I did a good job crimping it. Made in Mexico. It's just wired wrong from the day it was delivered to us. I verified this was a three-way switch. I've never wired a three-way switch like this with a, a, a second bulb at the base. Two bulbs on one three-way switch. I might have blown a fuse. A couple of things. I, I blew a fuse. I, I blew this fuse in the laboratory. My furnace fan stopped. And it took me a while to realize I wired this in a way that when I was fl flicking it around, it was a delayed reaction. Fuses are pretty slow to blow. I've never blown a fuse in all the years I've been here. When I was little, we had a babysitter over. Babysitters are the best time to experiment with stuff. I did a lot of things differently when I had a babysitter. I was in the basement rummaging around in the basement where we were growing up. I found something like this in the basement. I was like, whoa, that's, 
That's cool. So I took it upstairs in the living room, and I was like, that's a perfect fit. Wow. I wanted to see what would happen. So I stuck in a good fuse into the lamps, and the lamps in our living room were big, like this, with huge shades. They were brass. They were beautiful lamps. I wish I had them. I stuck one of these fuses into the lamp. I didn't know what it was, and I discovered that it fit in to the socket and once i screwed it into those beautiful lamps i switched it on and every light in the house went out the babysitter was worried she was pretty angry she told me to go to my room and only play with toys don't touch anything i thought it was fun i wasn't worried i played with toys best part about the babysitter was she was cute i went to the yahoo and i yahooed an algorithm that told me what I was doing wrong. It's a three-way switch. I bought a three-way switch. The website said, this is this is a dummy position. Don't ever screw a wire on there. That's It came with a wired screw on it. To light up a light up here and to what light up one in the base, that requires a two-way switch. Uh, I made the same mistake as this guy. I'm going to see if I can get my five bucks back for this. Maybe. I got something from Ted Hooper in Monte, California. Monte, El Monte. These are 0.35 watt LED bulbs. This is what's gonna go in the base of her of her lamp. Thank you, Ted. I finished that lamp project and my wife will give me a kiss. I had three-way switch from the local hardware store. I needed a two-way because that lights the bulb on top of the lamp and then the the base bulb, a new lamp cord. This original wire really isn't that bad. Seemed like I found one spot that, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna put this puppy in. This is plastic. Some of the bulbs produce some heat. I have seen uh, some bulbs made in this size that are 25 watts, and that might have been what they had in here one time. I'm probably cleaning it with a very corrosive chemical that will make it turn green and weird. Not sure if you can tell, but that's that's been cleaned inside and out. I did unplug the lamp, but I'm double checking it right now. I'm not too worried about some of that copper being exposed because this cardboard insulator will save the day. This lamp won't start a fire in the house. Only I start fires in the house. Oh, I gotta plug it in. All right, I'm gonna turn the switch. Yeah, switch position number two. Number three, they're both on like I wanted off night light lamp light they're both on and i don't know who would turn this on without turning on the base but it's a matter of taste i'm gonna unplug it finish it up glad i got this mystery solved there's a difference between a two-way switch on a lamp and a three-way let's go take a walk in the neighbor's yard buddy